Next, I'm going to show you how to use the dual perpendiculars theorem to also make a parallel line. So here you have line L and P naught on the line. So the very first thing in the dual perpendiculars theorem construction is to construct a line perpendicular to L through P. And we covered this in, an, in another video. We open the compass up so that it will, from point P, intersect line L in two places. Then we make sure the compass width is a little more than half between those two intersections. And using the same measure, we do it from the other intersection as well. We draw a line through point P and this intersection. Here's where I like to make sure I go far enough above point P so I can do my next perpendicular line. So I know that one's perpendicular, and now we just need to do a perpendicular line through point P, which is now on our new line here. Okay, so we're going right across here. So take your compass and place the point on P. I'm going to shrink my measure down just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take the measure. Mark it on one side of P and also on the other side of P. Now open your compass up a little bit more so it's a little more than half. Draw one arc from the intersection. Then using the same measure, draw another arc from the other intersection so that the two arcs intersect. From there, draw a line from point P through the intersection. Now you have another perpendicular line. And by the dual perpendiculars theorem, we would know that line T is parallel to line L. 